Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze Lubu Hills and I'm going to stamp some roses on it. I've got Glitter Be Gone as my base coat and here is the gorgeous China Glaze Lubu Hills. This is such a pretty polish. Look at that. I'm going to go in with my first coat of Lubu Hills and it is a jelly as you can see. It's a black jelly chocked full of glitter yumminess that you can see on the nail. I did this on both hands. This is how much I liked this manicure. I knew I was going to like it, and so I went ahead and did it on both hands. Kind of rare for me to do that. So there's that first coat. And now I'm going to go in for a second coat, and I'm going to be a little more dabby, um, you know, cautious with this coat. And these little China Glaze brushes, um, have to be reloaded quite often while you're painting nails and so I do have to go back and do that quite a bit because I am doing a thicker second layer of this polish. I've played with this polish before so I knew how it would react and do so that's why I decided to go ahead and do that thicker second layer and I did a little drag in there we're gonna have to smooth that out there we go there we go <clears throat> look and that's without top coat I'm going to top it with some of this posh top coat. I know normally I use a different one, but see, on this manicure, I painted them in Lubu Hills, and then I wore it for a day, and then I'm going to come back and do some stamping for you. See, sometimes I do that, you know. Wear it, love it all on its own, and then do something to it. And I have made quite a mess, so Woody's going to have to hop in here and help me clean up this top coat fiasco we got going on over here. There we go. A little bit on the other side. Thank you. So there is Lubu Hills all on its own. Now for some stamping. I'm going to be using BM plate number 14, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Red EO Active, and in Silver Sweep. These are not stamping polishes, but they work great. My Beauty Big Bang Scraper and my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. I'm going to stamp this in silver first. I'm going to do some double stamping today. Um, silver first. And then I'm going to top it with that gorgeous red. But if I'd done the red by itself, it would have been very hard to see it. So I decided to layer this one up and um, see if I could get better results. There we go. Pretty good. So I'm going to do it down on the tip of my nail on my thumb and my ring finger. Um, and then I'm going to move the stamping up to up by the cuticle line on the other three. Just kind of change it up a little bit. Give it a little bit of something different going on. Um, and I wouldn't consider this a fall manicure or a Halloween manicure. But I do think it goes well with either of those events. Um, and I just... I knew I wanted to wear Lubu heels, and I had to find something to go with that. So here we go with the stamping down on that ring finger. How gorgeous. Yes, very pretty. Um, and overall, I was just thrilled with this manicure. It was so fun to look at out in the sunshine. Now, in the house or at work, not under good lights, um, it, it didn't look like all that. But walk out into some sunshine, driving in the car, oh yeah, got to follow the rule, red lights and stop signs, that's the only place you can look at your manicure. Can't be having a wreck because you're checking out your manicure. So I, I have a rule, I can only look at my manicures at red lights and stop signs. Anybody else got rules like that? <laughs> But this was a really easy manicure. I know it looks like just a gazillion steps, and maybe it is, but it, it wasn't a hard manicure to do. And the results were very, very cool, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I guess, yeah, that's like 10 stamps, because it's double times, well, no, actually it was 20 stamps, because I did the other hand, too. Um, it's sitting over there waiting to be done. It's waiting its turn. <laughs> There we go, up by the cuticle. I really, really enjoyed this one, and you know, 
I can tell you why I had to wear Lubu heels though, is it sits on my nail polish rack right where I keep my backup batteries. Like when I charge my batteries, I line them up right there on the rack. And it was sitting there talking to me. So I'm going to be using the smudge free top coat, which I did off camera. And now I'm going to top it with the Sush Vite today sitting out. So I decided to use it. Kind of change things up a little bit. And there we go. Nice, thick, glossy top coat. Seal it all in. Make it plump and juicy and pretty. So there it is. Got a swatch photo coming. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.